Bitcoin is in a spot right now, and you don't know which direction that it's going to go. We're going to look at that, and we're going to check it out. There's been a lot of exciting developments for Bitcoin over the last couple of years, and it's led to this moment. This moment has been highlighted with a spot Bitcoin ETF. 11 different businesses now have a spot Bitcoin ETF. And since the moment that that launched, Bitcoin ran up to 49,000 and went all the way down to about 38,565, losing 25%, roughly a little over 20% of its value during that time with potential for more downside to come all the way into, I want to say the 36,000 range. Will it happen? I don't know the answer to that. Um, I'm going to give you a look here and I'm going to let you see what this chart looks like. And I'm going to give you just a couple of pieces of information that will allow you to do your own research better. And you can doubt what I'm saying and you can doubt these lines. You can doubt um, the analysis, but you can't doubt where we are and what the results have been so far. So to preface this, if you like this content, make sure you hit the subscribe button, the like button and the bell to be notified of future content and uh, to uh, give you the information. I have changed my moving average from 205200 to 205100 for this analysis for right now. So when you look at it and you follow me any, any length of time, then you're going to see that it's a little bit different. So let's break it down and uh, let's see what's going on. So right now on the daily, you can see what we've really started to experience is right here this is Bitcoin continuing to and constantly bouncing off of the 100 uh, MA, okay? Now, the 200 is still way down here. So we're going to focus on this one for right now. And we've happened to been able to maintain this as support. And then we had this big bounce over the last couple of days, getting back to, uh, you know, pre-dump days, just really the market starts to look like it's cooking. And in fact, you can see right here that it looks like we're making a positive move right now. Uh, the RSI is about to head over the trend line. Uh, money flow seems to be coming in. It looks like we're in a good position for a big move. Does that mean that we're going to have a big move? Well, not necessarily, because this is not about technical analysis right now. This is about the genuine heartfelt reaction investors are having to the spot Bitcoin ETF and the narratives that have been permeating the space. One of those narratives is that Grayscale Bitcoin Trust has been selling off. The selling has started to slow down. That would indicate that there's positive buy pressure. And the other thing is uh, Bitcoin now has a, a the, the record lowest amount of Bitcoin on exchanges, meaning that the amount of tradable Bitcoin right now is lower and lower and lower than it has been. And that usually drives the price. Also, uh, you're not seeing massive sell-off by miners at this point either. You've seen some selling, but not massive selling. But so let's kind of check this out. Now, you guys know this line right here, this blue line, uh, it has really kind of been uh, the the beacon, so to speak, that we've, we've sort of run by for the last year or so. And we broke down over here. So if you want to turn that, by the way, if you want to turn that into some sort of parabolic sort of curve cycle or something like that, which is what I told you guys in the beginning that that's what we were experiencing then you know feel free to do that because you're going to end up at the same place but you know, what we're looking at more closely is the association here with the 50 and the 200 and how the 20 is crossing into this range right now in a a pretty bearish sort of crossover here but the 100 continues to move up so that's bullish so we're looking one day so <laughs> what to make of this right now well if you pay attention here, we've rejected off of the 100 a couple of times, moved all the way up here, rejected off of the 50 uh, yesterday, and now uh, we're starting to have a come down. By the way, yesterday ended at the time of this video 26 minutes ago. So when we say that, uh, we're not talking about a long time ago. Uh, this was just yesterday uh, or today, earlier today, uh, in fact, at my time. But uh, you can see here that the, the resistance off of the 20 right now uh, it has taken a bearish sort of turn. So 
uh, 20 keeps coming down. Based on how this moves, we'll see what, what it does. But if it keeps coming down, then that's going to be a crossover here, and that's going to be a bad sign. Most probably, we'll get a confluence right here into this little range, and that's going to be the bearish move down here. And if we come down here, then we're looking at a range right now. I'm not giving you the exact amounts, by the way. I'm just giving you kind of ranges here. Uh, but if we break down, then we're coming down to 38.1 to 38.6, I want to say. That's going to be about the range where we find out we get a double bottom is basically what you're looking at right here. Uh, you've got your first bottom over here. Uh, getting another double bottom over here would likely mean that we're heading for a move up, but we still wouldn't know. It feels like in this market, despite a lot of um, concern over some of these uh, the grayscale Bitcoin trust sell-offs, things like that. It, it feels like there are buyers that are willing to step in and defend 38.1. So until they don't defend it, it's it's still in the cards, right? So uh, it, it, the most likely scenario here is going to be, again, this move here, uh, this here. Uh, if it breaks down here, it's coming down here, and then it'll probably wick right back up. We'll probably see another one of these things over the next couple of days. Now, you know, if you're looking to get in, I would not be buying today. I would I would not be buying today. Uh, and I'm not buying today. I've already got my long set up. I'm, I've got it sitting already. So uh, but anyway, this is the this is the most likely spot if we have a correction to the downside. Now, if we don't have a correction to the downside, then what we need is we need a candle to close above 42,700. And that is exactly where the 50 MA is right now. So uh, as you see this right here, what we need to see happen if we want a bearish breakout or a bullish breakout is we're going to have to have that move up into this range. If we don't have the move up into this range, then buyers and holders are going to get tired and they're going to recognize the sign. And that sign is this move to the downside. So what you're looking for right now is very simple. You're looking for something positive to happen to lead us into this 42,000 range. And then once you get back into that 42,000 range, and guys, as you know, uh, you've been at this 42,007, 42,008 range yesterday. So uh, if we go back up into this range and you start to see this and we can get a close above it, then you're looking at a positive break. And that would lead to uh, this next move, which is, that's the big one in the block here. Uh, that's another retest up here at the top at around 48, 49,000. Uh, and then a move into 50 to 53,000. I've got it at about 52. I think it's going to be around 52. But that's what it looks like would be the next play if we get a close over this. And we get, you know, kind of a retest here. And then we're going to have a breakout into the 50s. Uh, not in, by the way, not in March. I'm not, I'm, I'm just drawing. I'm not giving you exactly when that's going to be. Uh, this market is very, very weird right now. So, However, um, in order for this all to happen, or if this were to all happen, and we were to see something like this, like the run that we just kind of got over here a little while ago, and we and we see that build up and that lead up into this 50 to 52 range, then, then you can expect an enormous amount at that point of profit taking. And if we get an enormous amount of profit taking, then what you're going to see is altcoins really start to boom and really start to go. Um, and as of right now, uh, you're seeing Solana continue its move to the upside in the long term. You're seeing most of these other alts are just kind of continuing um, uh, their their moves towards that upside. You're starting to see um, Arbitrum, I think, having a little bit of a recovery and a move back up, just rejected off the 0.32. There's plenty of this going on. So, uh, you know, the question right now is what will the King Crypto do? And it looks like that we're going to get a move into this higher range or we're in a back test right now and do this double bottom and then take off from there now in the event that we cannot get that done then we would be looking at this thirty-six thousand number right here uh so this is really it's really a toss-up right now if you're looking for investment right now would be the time to sit on the sidelines and wait to see what happens if you see if you're already secure in your position then you're good if you see a move to the downside, look to enter a position 38.5, 38.1. Um, I would, you, you obviously don't want to use high leverage in this because this is a volatile sort of market, but you would just be going back to where you had already set your, um, your, your long position previously if you were listening. So uh, it just means you'd be reloading. 
And if, if that's the case, uh, then you could expect a big move from there. If, however, we continue up to 42.7, then I would be looking at a, a big move coming right after that. And that would take a close, a close over 42.7, which would take all of the markets working in unison. Uh, and if it happens, then you can expect a big, big breakout, at least in my opinion, I think there's a big breakout coming. Uh, I'm not moved negatively based on uh, what's been happening with the Grayscale Bitcoin Trust. The other ETFs are buying them up. Grayscale Bitcoin is going to slow down. The others are still going to continue their buying, probably slowed down buying, but, but still continued buying. So at some point, really, the scale is suddenly going to tip in favor of Bitcoin and the people who are holding Bitcoin. And uh, this market is getting ready to go. And the all-time high for Bitcoin is not a matter of by the end of this year. It's a matter of months at this point. It's getting ready to go. Um, there is a spot here where we could wake up to, you know, $70,000 Bitcoin over overnight. Like, like we could see just a massive, massive sort of move on Bitcoin at, at any given point. So... Um, you, should be you should be watching and you should be paying attention and understanding that at any point, at any moment, something incredible is probably going to happen. Now, if you're in a leverage position, you are in danger because they are going to play you the whole way. If you're in a spot position, all you have to do is hodl and have a little patience because it's all about to change. It's all about to take off and you are going to make it, my friend. So let me know what you think in the comment section down below. Uh, do you think Bitcoin is going to pump? Do you think it's going to dump? That's the question of the day. Uh, this is not financial advice, but I believe some always, right? Thank you so much for tuning in, and we'll talk to you again. There. We have a giant update from Cryptonomy.finance. Guys, brand new website, Solana. I'm going to earn 26 Solana for this move right here, about 2600 bucks. $2,600 for my Tether over here. Uh, the XRP 2313. Again, these do not unlock for a long period of time. I'm not going to unlock until November, but uh, I'm going to have 0.99, one extra Ethereum. Don't know how much it's going to be worth at that time. You never know. Worth nothing might be worth a lot. 0.08 Bitcoin I'll have available at that point. 0.037 Bitcoin over here, and then 0.012 Bit. This launch pool. Now I'm locked in until November of 2024. You can see that my accrued interest so far. 57,281.92. Now you might be asking yourself, like, how are you earning this, uh, Blaze? It's because I signed up to cryptonomy.finance. I just put the money in. I gave myself a shot, gave it an opportunity uh, in the bull run. That's where the money gets made. So I'm going to let this ride for a little while. You let me know what you think.